Hey, it's Kurt Thompson, and you're looking at a snapshot of YouTube analytics of one of my best performing videos, MacArthur Park. And look, I've received only $5 in ad revenue from YouTube. Please go over to Patreon, become a supporter, support my channel and my work and what I'm doing. I really need your help. Thank you so much. This is Kurt Thompson. What is the worst mistake, the biggest mistake you can make as a brand new beginning trombone player? The worst mistake that you can make is not learning your slide positions. And there's no excuse, folks, learning your slide positions does not require any musical talent whatsoever. So this is the this is the worst mistake and the biggest mistake that you can make because you're going to just constantly hurt yourself and retard your progress. You're going to constantly be riding in slide positions for your concerts coming up in band. You're going to constantly be putting in your slide positions in your book. There's a simple remedy for that. It requires a little bit of hard work, but not much. You take out your trusty a band book, or if you saw my other tutorial on the essential elements, take that out. And almost always it's in the back. Let's see, there we go. How about that? Pretty cool. Now, maybe depending on what book you have, it should be called a position chart. And it tells you where the positions are on your trombone and it associates a note with it on the other side. So, for example, if we looked at, let's look at a common note that most beginners play, and that's the B flat, which is right here. See, do I get my finger? Yeah. That's probably a note that you've already played, whether you knew it or not. That's the B flat, the second line B flat at the bottom of the bass clef staff. Now, over here, here's position one. So, position one means the slide is all the way in, and it sounds like this. So you might have already played that, just didn't know you were playing that. But here's the problem. And it might be that you're at the end of fifth grade band now or sixth grade or you started middle school or junior high and you, you're thinking about quitting because you're always screwing up. You just don't seem to be enjoying this instrument. And the reason you're not enjoying it is because you have succumbed to the worst and biggest mistake possible as a brand new beginner trombone player. And that's simply not learning and committing to memory to your slide positions along with the notes. You can fix that because it requires no musical talent. You don't need to be Jimi Hendrix or, or Mozart or your favorite artist, whoever you worship. You don't need to be that good at, right now at this point to learn your slide positions. Hope you found this very informative. In fact, you can start fixing your problem right now if you have made the biggest and worst mistake as a beginning trombone player. Start working on it right now. You know what to do, right? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Even if it hurt a little bit, kind of hurt you, hurt your feelings, but go ahead and like it anyway because you know it's good for you, right? If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get more cool, informative tutorials like this. I'm Kurt Thompson, and I will see you in the next video. Please go over to Patreon, become a supporter, support my channel and my work and what I'm doing. I really need your help. Thank you so much. This is Kurt Thompson.